friends back with another video in this video we are going to learn how to find the pipe slope to match the design velocity criteria for storm and sewer network design so generally in the storm and uh, our sewer network design we need to consider some minimum velocity and the maximum velocity ranges uh, for the storm network design so we have learned in our engineering that why we should keep the minimum velocity range and why we restrict the pipe flow to certain maximum velocity of the flow for based on the um, the pipe material character so now uh, when we um, when we go through the sum of the codes uh, in most of the cases uh, in the codes they have just they mentioned regarding the minimum and the maximum design velocity criteria but they don't uh, mention the or uh, in most of the cases they do not mention regarding the pipe slope for the different uh, standard size of the pipe so in that case we need to use the application of the hydraulic equation basic hydraulic equation to find this pipe slope criteria to match the minimum and maximum velocity of the flow so so in that case i have make some uh, I, I i can use this manning equation so before uh, using this manning equation i made two assumptions in this uh, in finding the slope for different sizes of the pipe that is this equation that the flow is passing through study uniform flow that is the study uniform flow is coming through this pipe and I will assume that the flow in the pipe is at pipe full tap so these are the two assumptions I will make in my um, in my calculation to find this uh, design slope for to match this minimum velocity and the maximum velocity criteria so let's begin this and learn let's consider some standard sizes of the pipe so i will consider this as 500 mm 600 mm 800 mm 1000 1200 mm 1500 mm and the 2000 mm so these are the uh, standard sizes of the pipe which is which are used in the most of these uh, uh, country in their local standard codes so these are these uh, pipe sizes and for in the most of the uh, even when we go through some of the codes in the most of the time you find that minimum velocity uh, limit is kept between a 0.6 or 0.75 generally we can see this 0.75 meter per second in the most cases and the maximum limit of the flow is restricted to 2.5 meter per second so this minimum velocity criteria I will assume or I'll consider as 0.75 meter per second and maximum velocity as 2.5 meter per second also uh, in few codes it may be the yeah, maximum and minimum velocity may be varying but I will consider a general case in uh, most of the cases we can find this the this velocity limit in the most of the local or a municipal design codes so for this the, for the uh, for this minimum and the maximum velocity we are going to uh, design the pipe slope so for initially i i will convert this uh, pipe size mm to meter so it will be 0.5 meters 0.6 meter 0.8 meter it's 1 meter it's 1.2 meter and 1.5 meter 2 meter are the pipe size 
So pipe size is nothing but pipe diameter. You can see, you can check it here. Right. So we have this D, which is nothing but this. D is the diameter of the pipe. And A is the area, area of the pipe, area, cross-sectional area of the pipe. So A for circle, the area is pi by 4 into d square so pi by 4 d square is the diameter you can see i just marked in this uh, uh, labeling from this to this so we know the value of the pi it is nearly 3.14 by pi by 4 into d square so d is this 0.5 d is the 0.5 to the power square so this areas are in square meters scroll it down all right so we find the area now let's find the perimeter so which is the vector perimeter perimeter meter Okay. So for weighted perimeter, so which is nothing but the weighted portion of the in the cross-sectional yeah, cross-section of the circular pipe. So since I'm assuming the uh, pipe full depth, so that means entire periphery of the circle will be getting weighted during the design condition. So for that. I need to consider the geometry of the circle. So we know the perimeter of the uh, circle that is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r becomes uh, uh, for the radius and pi d becomes when we consider the diameter. So that means this weighted uh, perimeter becomes pi d. Pi is 3.14 it's a rough value I'm taking and the D D is the pipe diameter so just scroll it down so these are the weighted parameters for the different standard size of the pipe now we have need to find the hydraulic mean depth that is R R and I directly consider this particular term R to the power 2 by 3. I'll directly consider the term R to the power 2 by 3. Two by three. R we know the formula the weighted it is the hydraulic mean that is the ratio between the is the, the area divided by perimeter so for area area we know here and perimeter is here and to the power 2 by 3 2 by 3 and scroll it down so we found the R to the power 2 by 3 
now assign the velocity so initially i will assign this uh, minimum velocity here minimum velocity i will consider v min now so it is 0.75 all right min is 0.75 I will uh, directly take this uh, rearranged Manning's equation to find this uh, slope that is the S. So I will uh, use the I directly substitute that this equation here. So before that I copy. So here is this. So to find this slope in terms of one in x, that is s. So we need to consider the velocity v here and the Manning's. So before that i need to create a, a one more before that i need to create one more column for the manings n manings n so i will assign this minus n for grp pi 0 0.012 Let's scroll it down so now, now substitute these values. Here in this equation, this formula. So V is here the minimum into the end that is Manning's coefficient, roughness coefficient. Divided by R to the power 2 by 3, that is the hydraulic depth here, and 4 to the power square. So we got the slope in terms of 1 in x, so it is in terms of s equals to 1 x so to find the x that is the slope so for x is nothing but here the pipe length by pipe right so to find this we need to inverse it so that means to find the x so we need to inverse this term and it will be 1 by s so x is equal to 1 by Yes, so 1 by S, 1 by S. So these are the slopes, these are the minimum slope, minimum velocity slope. Alright, you can see these are the minimum velocity slope. Okay. If I replace this V with V max that is the 2.5 so I can get the maximum velocity slope here. So maximum velocity slope. So I will replace this minimum with V max. So V max is 2.5. 2.5. So once I replace it and drag it down, so these are the slope for the maximum velocity. So these are the pipe slope for the maximum velocity. And earlier we what I done is for 
minimum pipe velocity slope which is to be maintained to match the design constraint so that is the to prevent any siltation or a erosion of the al along the pipe network so thank you for watching